360 degree cameras can create immersive videos and in this video I'm gonna show you how to edit 360 videos in DaVinci Resolve for free. So let's get cracking. And the first thing you're gonna do with your footage is to stitch it. So take the software your manufacturer gave you and stitch those footage so that it goes from looking something like this into that. And while you're there, take the time to stabilize your clips and to level your horizon. Because you don't want the video in the end looking something like this. And the viewer to always twist their necks. Of course. Now that you got your footage stitched, let's get into DaVinci Resolve. In Resolve, we want to create a new project, give it a name and then click create. Now we want to press Ctrl N or Command N on Mac and create a new timeline. We want to uncheck use project settings, go into format and then go here to custom and give in an aspect ratio by 2 to 1. You can choose between different resolutions. If you have the studio version, if you have the free version, then you only have one choice. And we want to change the timeline frame rate to at least 30 frames per second. Because if people watch them on a headset, they are going to be 30 or 60 FPS. And we don't want to have it stutter, right? Click create and then import your clips like you would normally do. Just drag them into the timeline and with the blade tool you can cut the clips and with the arrow tool you can even trim the clips and arrange them however you like. But keep in mind that you need to keep the person of interest always in the same spot because people can be very easily disoriented if you cut to the next clip and your camera is off. So look at me, look at me. Keep doing and focusing people's attention on one spot. And I will show you how to do that now. In this clip you see me barely in the middle and in the next shot I'm completely at the opposite side. And I made you a panel grid that will show you where what is in regards to front, right, left and back. And if you want to fix the horizontal alignment of this clip, for example, you can go into your open effects, search for transform and grab the transform effect and drop it onto your clip. And then you can go into the effects and slide the position all the way across. And if you see the black half of it, you can go into the advanced options and change the edge behavior from transparent to wrap around. And now I'm in the same spot as before. Of course you can keyframe those sliders to go left and right if you need that. But keep in mind that by keyframing this you automatically turn somebody's head. Okay but our video is still looking kind of distorted so let's get a preview of what it could look like on YouTube. For that I would recommend you to get the Carta VR Reframe plugin. Oh by the way all the plugins and resources are linked in the description and you will find a PDF guide that will give you all the links as well. To get Carta VR installed just go to the Reactor website, download the Lua script and drop it into Fusion and then look for Reframe and check the box for Carta VR Reframe. DaVinci Resolve needs to be restarted after installing the plugin so click Ctrl S to save your progress. This far it won't hurt you. To get the feeling of what your 360 video could look like on YouTube, you can drop in those bars that I made for you to get the 16 by 9 aspect ratio and then look for an adjustment clip, drag it underneath that and drop the Carta VR Reframe plugin onto the adjustment clip. Then go into the effects and change the field of view to 0.745 and crank the linear projection all the way up to 1. And now you can navigate your preview by using the pitch, yaw and roll dials in the plugin in the inspector. If you like what you added just delete the bars and the adjustment layer and everything is gonna be ready for export. So let's have a look. And for that click on the rocket in the bottom bar, give it a name, choose your location where it should be saved and in the video tab under format choose QuickTime H.265, leave the quality at best and in the audio tab switch it to linear PCM. Add that to the render queue and press render all. But the video you made doesn't contain any metadata so if you upload it as it is right now it's not gonna be a 360 video on YouTube. 
and to get that you need to install the spatial media metadata injector and run that. Just download the zip file on the GitHub page, unzip the file and open the executable. In the program itself, you can just click on open, navigate to the file that you just rendered and click on open. And then you just check that it's a spherical video and click inject metadata. And now it's gonna ask you where you wanna save it and then you click save and then it says successfully saved underscore injected. And this is the video you're gonna upload to YouTube. But this video doesn't have 360 audio yet. And how you edit 360 audio or ambisonics, this is a topic for the next video right here. So have fun creating 360 videos.